guys what's up and welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna read chapter 5 from the book the other world by Sun Tzu and the title of chapter is energy Sun Tzu said the control of large force is the same principle as control as of human it is merely a question of dividing up their numbers fighting with a large army under your command is no wise different from fighting with a small one. It is merely a question of insist, instituting sign and signal to ensure that your whole horse may withstand the brunt of the enemy attack and remain unshaken. This is effect by maneuver, direct and indirect. That the impact of your army may be like a grand stone dash again an egg. This is affected by sign of weak point and strong. In all fighting, the direct method may be used for joining battle, but indirect method may be need in order to secure victory. Indirect tactic efficiently apply are in deck are exhaustible as heaven and earth, and ending as the flow of rivers and streams, like the sun and moon. They end up, they end but to begin anew. Like the four seasons, they pass away to return once more. There are not more, more than five musical notes, yet the combination combination of the this fight give rise to more melody than can ever be heard. They are not merely than five primary color blue, yellow, red, white and black. Yet it combination they produce more whole than even than even been seen. They are not more than five kind of Cardinal test sore as arid salt sweet bitter yet combination of them yield more flavor than can ever be tasted. In battle there are not more than two methods of attack the direct and indirect yet these two is combination give rise to an unnecessary or maneuver. The direct and indirect lead to the each other in turn. It is like moving in a circle. You, ne you never come to an end. Who can exhaust the possibility of their combination? The onset of troop is like the rush of torrents, which will even roll stone along with it cause the equality of the season is like the well time swamp of falcon which enable it to strike and destroy it with them therefore the good fighter will be terrible in his onset and prompt in his decision energy may be likened to bending the crossbow decision to release the trigger Amid the turmoil and tumult of battle, there may be seeming disorder, and yet no real disorder at all. Amid confusion and chaos, your array may be without a head or tail, yet it will be proof against defeat. Simulated disorder, postulated perfect discipline, simulate fear. Postulate courage, simulate weakness, postulate strength, heightened order beneath the clock of its order is simply a question of subdivision, concealing courage under a show of timidity, pre-purpose of front of latent energy, masking strength with weakness is to be effective by tactical disposition. Those one who is skilled at keeping the army on the move maintain the civil appearance according to which the army will act. 
he sacrificed something that the enemy may snatch at it. By holding out bait, he kept him on the march. Then with a body of pig men, he lie in the wait for him. The clever of combatant looks at the effects of combined energy and does not require too much from individual, hence this ability to pick out the right man and utilize combination energy. When he utilize combined energy, his fighting man become as more like unto rolling locks or stone, for it is the nature of lock or stone to remain motionless on the level ground and to move when on the slope if for corner to come to stand still but if round shape to go round rolling down does energy developed by good fighting men as the momentum of the round stone roll down in the mountain thousand of feet in height so much on the subject of energy thank you guy and if you you want to read more i put the description description so you can read the whole chapter and thank you and see you in the next chapter bye